Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to the second episode of PKing Through the Eras. So last episode I was PKing in 2004 gear, 2005 gear, and now we are on to 2006 gear. Basically guys, the way that this works is pretty simple. I PK in gear that comes out in a certain year. Whenever I get a kill that's valued at 1 mil or more, I am allowed to upgrade one year worth of gear and use gear that is out for the next year. So I've completed year 2004 and 2005 in the last video. This year we'll focus on 2005 plus, so gear that's out in 2004, 2005, 2006. And if I get any other kills, I don't want to spoil anything, that will also benefit me gear wise. So anyways guys, I don't want to get too much into this and allow you guys to actually, you know, listen to music and <laughs> get through the kills. But I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, leave a like and comment down below and let's see what happens. All right, well, that kind of sucks. I figured it might be worth a mil considering it's a mystic, but only hit 500k, so looks like we got to do some more PKing. Sure, I could bring sand fuse, but still, I mean, I'd get fucked. I mean, no room pouch, like, you know. Aw, oh, shit, no, not again. Not again, bro, not again. Ebo's man. Dude, I was so angry here. If you look at the minimap, one of my people in my CC, like one of my viewers or whatever, uh, runs up and actually one items me with a crystal bow despite there being like 70 of them falled in on me and I was so close to actually getting away but of course I don't have fucking run energy so I couldn't get to him in time. I tried to blitz him but they hit him too quickly. If only I got that box we definitely would have lived but unfortunately I ended up planking and dying once again. Uh, obviously there's nothing I can really do about it considering my gear and all the restrictions and I mean, you ain't tanking nobody in. 50 spec trades with eight or nine brews or seven or whatever I had especially with ancestral and venom and all that stuff on you So that's another death, but let's get back at it No motherfuckers, let me go yo, let me go Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, fuck him. All right. All right. All right Wait, hold up, hold up. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be full TB, bro, I better get this. I'm gonna pick this up.
Banging into the ice war? Never mind. Thought I might have a chance if I got there. Alright, rip. Try it again. Ugh, this is not gonna work today, guys. I think the only thing I can do... I think the only thing I can do in this situation is <laughs> try and change back to a little bit, a little bit worse gear and like Camp World 18. So yeah, that's kind of what I decided to do. I decided that since I'm going to be streaming the series, it's obviously something that is extreme disadvantage if I was going out solo, not streaming it at all. Um, I could obviously have the element of being anonymous, whereas instead I'm broadcasting it to a bunch of people. I don't really care about that that much. The only thing I care about is it's obviously hard to find 1v1 fights. Uh, so I started hiding my worlds and whatnot and I ended up finding this guy. We fought for a little bit, but once again, luck was just not on my side. Hold on. Oh, oh no! I died to spider! I died to a fucking spider! Are you kidding me? I just died to a fucking spider! In all of my years of PKing, especially at 44s, I swear to god, I've never seen one of those spiders hit a 7 before. And then all of a sudden, I'm coming down, and it hits me, not not twice, not, not three times, one time. And I get hit a 7, when I'm 7 HP, and I die. I don't even know how that happened. Fuck it, whatever. It's as if Venonatus sent his son in there in that specific moment with a new max hit, and just took me the fuck out. Whatever, dude, let's just re-gear, we're going back out. I gotta go for Nax pretty soon. Fifty-two. What the fuck is going on? There's like a hundred goons here. Alright, so my game plan was pretty much to just use Derok Hybrid as much as I could, considering the fact that I have to use ultimate strength and credible reflexes and I can't use any good spec weapons. My best chance to get a KO on people, especially in this meta of sitting on high HP, is obviously to get a Derok Axe for like a 60 or 70 plus, because other than that, it's going to be really hard to kill people. Um, after a few tries with this, um, I, it wasn't really working, so I switched the gear up, and instantly, what you're seeing on the screen right now is what followed. Not. No, he got me! You motherfuckers, dude, they're on me again. Uh, dude, how... Alright, hold the fuck up. I might be doing some goofy shit right now, but what the fuck was that? One minute. I'm not gonna survive for a minute. It'd be a legit miracle. Close enough. Probably, I probably had like 10 seconds left on TV. Alright, so obviously Deep Wilderness was not working out the way I expected it, or the way it was in the previous days. Um, but I decided to go and grab Derok Hybrid once again and go low wilderness, not like super low, but like lower or high enough that I can actually find fights, um, in hybrid or tribrid. And that's exactly what I did. I decided to try and hold my own in world 18 and hopefully find people there. Um, I managed to get a few fights and this is pretty much what happened. Zero again. What the f 64. Oh, we got him! Fuck yes. Yes, we got it for sure. That's 100% there. 
Holy guys, so even though this loot was only like four or five mil, I can honestly say that this was one of the most satisfying kills that I've ever gotten in my RuneScape career. And it's not the fact that it's like the loot or even the way it was killed. It was a pretty nice combo from the Carols into the Darox and the Great Axe. Um, but it's honestly just the fact that it took so long to get this kill. Having old gear, old prayers, no orbs, we have no anti-venom, we don't have any good spec weps. I'm using ultimate strength and incredible reflexes, like... And, and, and no XP drops, it's so hard to like time your kills when you can't even see um, when it's a good time to combo them and stuff like that. But we ended up getting this kill. As you can see, the value and everything is on the screen. I was super satisfied with this. And now we've completed 2004, 2005, 2006, and we were on 2007. The era of God Swords, Dragonfire Shields. We have Sanfu Serum, so we can actually use those and not get uh, anti-venomed as hard. And uh, it should be it should be pretty fun. All right, guys, so here we are in 2007. We have got the same hybrid setup, but we also have incorporated a DFS, an AGS, and also some D boots. We also now have Pidey, and these are some pretty good unlocks, and it should be a lot easier to get kills now. As expected, within a couple minutes, um, a team obviously did show up. Uh, however, they weren't the biggest or in the best gear, so it was pretty easy to get a box and obviously escape. Keep an eye on this guy right here. Not only is he a friend and on my friends list, but he's also a fucking snake. Oh, no. Ever since this demon, I'll get this thing out of here. It's fucking irritating. This guy's fucking. Are you kidding me? That guy was my homie, dude. He just did me dirty. What the fuck was that? Really, boys? We're in world 18! Hold on, hold on. I think I know how to get away from this. Alright, they got... Whoever the fuck this is, this noob is on me. Who is this, bro? This rock member just, just soiled you guys. Get off now. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Alright, so basically, let me explain what happened here. So, when I teleported up, my target was originally somebody named Siryu, who was a friend of mine. They saw that he was my target, and running over to box me, they decided to kill him. Obviously, because my target died, I got a new one, which happened to be my friend Wimbo, who I guess was at the time a team friend of Rod or something like that. Instead of letting them kill me, he decided to hit me with the box, and in that case, turned into this. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head!
Big D bolt, please. Oh, we got him. Yes. Good fight, dude. Full DH set. DH set. Damn, Shoddy, what you think? 2.6 mil. It's definitely over a mil right there. Alright, good fight to that guy. Good fucking fight to that guy. Alright guys, and that is going to wrap up the second episode of PKing Through the Eras. We completed now 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2007. Only thing left is 2008, 9, 10. Obviously 11, we're going to skip 12 because that's EOC. And then we get into all of the items and things that have been brought out since the beginning of OSRS. So we still have quite a bit to get through. It's probably going to be a couple more episodes, but it should be a lot easier to get kills now in the year of 2008. A lot of things came out. Obviously, I can't be using any PvP armors or anything like that because it doesn't exist in the game. But there are still things like claws. There are still things like spirit shields. And it should still end up being quite a bit of fun. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like and comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on 10k. We got over a thousand subs from the last video, guys. So thank you very, very much for that. Also, I do stream regular PKing and obviously... Uh, I do stream this series over on my Twitch channel. The link for that will be down in the description. It's just twitch.tv backslash abyss. And I would really appreciate it if you guys check that out. Also, I do a ton of giveaways over there. So it's a really good way for you guys to make money. And also, if you're interested in PKing, I do open CC events with my viewers all the time. Um, one final thing I wanted to talk about is I hope nobody takes any of the trolling seriously, especially the clan related stuff. I don't actually mind that teams come and hit me while I do stuff like this. Um, obviously, I just give my interpretation or my uh, my side of the things um, when tanking. Obviously, I, I go into it once or twice and I talk about um, how I could obviously survive if such and such if I wasn't doing this and how I met disadvantages. Um, I'm just kind of uh, articulating my point of view rather than just saying good fight, but honestly like that's what the wilderness is all about team p gang is a part of the game clans are a part of the game i have no issue whatsoever with any of that happening deep wilderness and i hope nobody took any of the trolling or anything like that because that's just not the way i think um all the teams that hit me and all the people have killed me good fight to you guys as well um obviously a lot of people especially in the single scene take deaths really seriously i really don't give a shit not anymore so good job if you killed me good fight if we fought and to all the teams that hit me shout out to you guys as well Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Sorry if I'm rambling, but I will see you guys next time.